Dating Tips with Misery and Dr. Love. AKA Male Doll Number Nine. Tip number one. Identify the friend you like and give him a token of your affection. <laughs> Tip number two. Share your interests. Tip number three. When you like your friend, show them. Don't just tell them. I like you, Misery, a whole lot. I like you too, male doll number nine. Isn't he a doll? I hate doing laundry. I'm with you, bro, but we gotta get moving or we're gonna be last in line. The saw! No time, Len. We must push on. You hang on, little guy. I'll be back for you. We've done it, Len. We beat the rush. If you please, who should be first to use the machine? Ooh, me, 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 I'll go. I will. We'll do it first. Let's make this as painless as possible. I suggest we play a game of Boulder Shroud Guillotine. Winner goes first. Good one, Ruby. Splendid idea. And if I win, I get to choose who scrubs my soils. Maybe. Hey, Scared, come on in the circle. The geometric shapes frighten me. On the count of three, everybody call boulder, shroud, or guillotine. I am curious, how does one... One, two, three. <sighs> Who wins? I say Scaredy for creativity. He became boulder. I agree. Scaredy goes first, followed by Frank and Len, Skullboy. Don't forget moi. <laughs> then Poe. Doom and I will go last. Bye for now. See ya. Bye, Anna. Have fun. Wah! Hey, don't forget to ring the laundry bell before you finish so the others will know when to come down. For whom does the bell toll? The bell tolls for thee, my friend. The bell tolls for thee. Oh, you know, should not laundry be a group activity? You know, like monster taming or something? What's going on? This cannot be good. Oh no, oh no, oh my god, dear. I do not recall the laundry being so hazardous an activity. Do you, Mr. Buns? Oh, ancient drawings, perhaps from a lost civilization. Fascinating. Mr. Buns, I read in one of Poe's books that drawings on the wall are meant to communicate a message. Oh, oh my! Oh my! Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh my! Oh my! Oh my dear! The, the, the queen is coming to visit me for tea! Any second now! I must tell Ruby! No, you are right, Mr. Buns. I will keep it a secret and surprise her. In the meantime, I must prepare. Oh, this is so exciting. Aren't you excited, Mr. Buns? Well, at least this gives us a chance to sort our clothes properly. Pithy. Verbose. Pithy. 
Frank, why don't we just use the words cool and uncool instead of pithy and verbose? Because we're pithy cool. Almost forgot. Ready to wash and roll? You bet. Pithy. Super pithy. Ancient musical notes. Look! Lynn and Frank on body of lion. Squiggly line, leg, queen. Queen, leg, squiggly line, Len and Frank on body of lion. Can mean only one thing, Len. No way. <gasps> the queen of talent scouts is coming to scout us. Pithy and super pithy. <laughs> Woohoo! No time for practice, Len. We must laundry. I mean, Exactly, in reverse, to the garage. But wait, shouldn't we tell Ruby and the gang? We will, after we sign the record deal. <laughs> Let's not jinx it. <gasps> My turn, yes! <laughs> wow, I bet these ancient markings hold the key to where I'm from. There, doesn't he look exactly like me? Check it out. And he looks like some kind of king. Hey, maybe I'm descended from a long line of kings. <gasps> Egyptian kings. But wait, this leg, squiggly line, leading to a queen can only mean one thing. A descendant of the queen is coming to visit me, bringing with her a royal leg for me to wear. Alas, poor leg bone. I knew him pretty good, Mr. Bond. Pretty darn good. No time to lose. I must get ready for her arrival. <coughs> oh, befouled apparel. How do I loathe thee? Let me count the ways. Oh, no grand. Laundry. These are the appendages of an artist. Not a launderer. Oh. I'm going to the mysterious world of Egypt. OK, not exactly. But the Queen of Egypt is coming to visit, no doubt, to inform me that a pyramid will be erected in my honor. I must get ready. Ring, ring, ring. Your turn, Ruby and Doom. Poe sure was in a hurry. Something tells me he's not a fan of the soapy science. Does this look like a horse to you? But that's what the artist says it is. A chicken. Really? Looks to me like a teapot. See, here's the handle, and here's the spout. No, huh? Oh well. Come on. As Len would say, let's wash and roll. <laughs> Amazing. Obviously ancient, yet strikingly familiar. That does look like you. Very royal-like. Hey, maybe you have royal blood in you. <laughs> Your Majesty. I wonder what else the drawings say. Mr. Buns. We must tell the others. Oh, what was I thinking? Of course. Royalty first. <laughs> Frank 
Frankenland, Frankenland. We're not just any man. We're Frankenland. Love that new doorbell sound you're making, Len. Thanks, but I'm not making a new doorbell sound. The doorbell is making the new doorbell sound. Hey, guys. Want to hear our new song? <laughs> Wicked. Yeah. <laughs> Frankenland, you know that we don't bend. We're Frankenland. Whoa. So, what do you think? Well, sounds good. But we really came to tell you we are expecting a visitor any minute. So be ready. We know, and we are. <laughs> Welcome them with open arms and hope they take us away to the stars. <laughs> but don't worry, we'll send a postcard. That's uh good to know, Frank. We even wrote a new song for them. <laughs> Want to know the name? Rock like an Egyptian. <laughs> uh. Is it just me or was that strange, Doom? I mean, Your Highness. Your Majesty? Your Excellency? <laughs> Come on, let's tell the others. Name a pyramid after me? Oh, you shouldn't have your royal greatness. No, too subtle. Could it be? <laughs> your Eminency. Uh, Ruby, Doom, <laughs> what a surprise. Uh, pleasant, I'm sure. Have you seen Skullboy? Over here. I think I finally found where I come from. Ah, uh, I betcha. That's high in ancient Egyptian. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I betcha. Back at ya. Actually, you would say, ah, uh, I beck, because I'm a guy. How about just ah, uh, because that's sort of how I'm feeling right about now. And check this out. I'm walking like an Egyptian. And it comes so natural. Ruby, which one is more appropriate when greeting the Queen of Egypt? Are you okay, Ruby? Um, yes. We just wanted to share with you the news that a visitor should be arriving any minute. We know. No. I could really go for a cup of tea right about now. Where are all the teacups and the teapot? Many thank yous, Doom. Oh, oh, dear, oh, dear. Hey, Scaredy. What's going on? And what have you got on? No, no time, Ruby, if you please. I am expecting any minute my most honored guest. Oh, oh dear. The mummy costume does not fit like I remembered, you know. Perhaps owing to my consumption of too many mosquitoes. Thank you kindly. Oh. This again. Hang on, Scaredy. Do. Oh, my. I believe the time has arrived. The time is upon us. It's time. It's showtime. I knew it was too good to be true. It's not a talent scout. It's just a tiny, mysterious, mechanical device with some obscure purpose. Come on, Frank. Let's drown our sorrows in a tub of peanut butter. It came from in front of the house. Do in front of the house, if you please. Hold the peanut butter, Frank. Your Highness, I welcome you. Ah, excuse me, please, excuse me. To our humble abode. Ooh, she must be a very small queen. Alien from outer space. What? Huh? Huh? Pardon me. <laughs> Alien from outer space. Crazy, huh? <laughs> of course not. You know, Ruby, no. What do you mean? Come on. Who 
should be the one to open the package. I'll do it. But what if it is booby-trapped? Hmm. I've got it. Skullboy? A little to the left. Little more. Little more. Perfect. Oh, finally! I've been waiting for this forever. Who would have thought out of this world party supplies would be so tardy? Oh, Misery, be careful! It may be booby trapped! It is booby trapped. Oh, I knew it! Booby trapped with fun! <laughs> Let's party! Or let's not. Where's the Queen of Talent Scouts? Where is the Queen of Egypt? Where is the, uh, alien from outer space? <laughs> Where are you getting these ideas? Now I understand. You mean these aren't ancient drawings from Egypt? Ancient? I made these last week. They're your costumes. But why the Egyptian theme? I wanted to celebrate the anniversary of my great-great-great-grandmother Cleo's getting bitten by a snake. <coughs> right, Doom. And what about the house shaking and the electrical storm? That was just me trying to learn to dance like an Egyptian. Okay, we get the idea. So I guess this means I don't have ancient Egyptian blood in me. Ikuba. What does that mean? Bummer in ancient Egyptian. And I won't have a pyramid named in my honor. And the queen of some foreign place will not come and visit me for tea. <laughs> and you're not going to be saved by an alien from outer space, Ruby. <laughs> yeah, darn. But you will always be like royalty to us, Doom. <laughs> I mean, your highness. <laughs> hey, enough smiling and grinning. Get into your costumes and let's party! Great Hall in ten. Be there or be... there. <laughs> Lennon Frank, Lennon Frank, we sing though our minds are blank. We're Lennon Frank. Frank and Len, Frank and Len, we're not just any men. We're Frank and Len. And when we rock, when we rock, when we rock, we rock like any gym. Idea. Yeah, pithy misery. Pithy. Wait till you see what I've got planned to celebrate the anniversary of my great, 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 great uncle Saki slipping on a banana peel. Oh. In the middle of a massive hurricane. <laughs> now let's party! <laughs> Yo-yo tips with Poe. <laughs> the yo-yo. <clears throat> the yo-yo originated in ancient China during the Qin Quin Chu dynasty, or some such. However, my first encounter with the yo-yo came while on a trek through the wilds of downtown Gloomsville. <laughs> there it was, alone in its natural habitat, the department store. Careful not to alert it to my presence, I sent a sales clerk on a reconnaissance mission to find me a new rubber ducky. As an aside, you see, my previous rubber ducky had taken another position in a larger bath in another home in Gloomsville. More water, better play. Oh, what a time we had, my rubber ducky and I. We used to do everything together, you know. Take baths, sometimes with the water filled to the top, other times only 
three quarters full. Oh, oh I'll miss my rubber ducky. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry. No, oh, it is a far, far better thing that he has done. It is a far, far better tub that he has gone to. Sorry. I need a moment. Alone. As a Poe's trusty assistant, I shall demonstrate the yo-yo. Uh, around the world. <laughs> Questions? 